world and welcome to Kannapolis, North Carolina. Today's quest is going to bring us over to the Kannapolis Cannonballers for our very first Kannapolis Cannonballers game of 2024. We come over here a lot, as you can see by all my gear. I love this place. So I'm going to take you in there and let you have an experience there. This is Mother's Day. It is May uh, 12th, 2024. Let's go have some fun. Now they haven't opened the gates yet, but I want to show you this apartment building. I don't think that it's completely open yet for like tenants, but yeah, it's pretty close to being finished right there. They moved the team store over here. Um, I was in that yesterday. I'm going to try to sneak over in there and give you a shot of that too, because it's a pretty cool store now. Looks like that's going to have to wait until we get in the park here because the gates have opened. Now, since it is Mother's Day, they're giving away free, like, big beach hats. And we're going to try to get us one of those. And we're in. Our tickets worked. Metal detector is okay. Everybody's all securitized. And I'm going to show you the field. I love coming over here. Y'all, I've done a couple videos here, but it never gets old. Like, look at this. Small town baseball at its finest right here. It's called actually the Atrium Health Ballpark. I love this place. It's so homey. The town of Kannapolis is really nice too. It's just a good atmosphere. Awesome vibes. And here's the free hat. Cannonballers. That's a nice hat. Have a blast. Right here we got Trevor. He's the one that kind of does the whole like, what would I say, like DJing of the game. Kind of announces it. And kind of manages all the games they do out on the field and all. It's a really nice area. Up there they actually have like a buffet. It's called like, I think it's a club level thing or something. So if you want to add that buffet to your ticket, you can. I think it's right around $30 a person, but don't quote me on that. But it's really nice. How cool would it be to live in those apartments right there and be able to watch the game down here for free whenever they have it? And here we got the best mascot I have ever seen in my entire life, Boomer. Yep, I have to say, super cool mascot. By the way, they're a single-A affiliate of the White Sox, the Kannapolis Cannonballers are. Now, the brand new gift store is down there, but they still look like they have the old one over here, the Cannon City Supply Co. Team Store. What do you say we go in here first, and then at the end of the game, I'm gonna go over to the brand new one. It definitely looks like they're phasing this store out, possibly. But check out these hats definitely looks like there's different stuff here than there were yesterday at the other store, I think. Man, I really like this one right here. I thought about buying this yesterday, but I got this shirt instead. This shirt looks pretty cool. I like how it says the name of the city, and it has the mascot Boomer on there. So I decided to surprise my daughter with this awesome Boomer plushie right here. See, I have a, um, like a whole shelf full of memories and things. So I'm trying to start that for her. She's only four. So she puts stuff like this in her shelf. Hopefully when she gets older, she'll do what I did and make her own shelf and put these stuffies in it. Here's our seats here. We're in 106 row L and we paid like $14 a person for this. We're right behind home plate right there. They got some kids dancing here doing a show thing, but golly, I can't tell you how much this, uh, how much I enjoy coming over here. Like it's gorgeous, isn't it? It looks like we're going to be playing the Delmarva Shorebirds, I think is what you say, or what you call it. And they are an affiliate of the Orioles. What is he carrying? What is that ball right there? But anyways, what's kind of cool is we are right at the entrance to the locker rooms. So we get to see the players come out. See, they even stop and sign stuff for people right here. So if you want to get something signed, the section is 106 and you're right here at the player's tunnel to the locker room. They're, they're wetting down the field right now. So, I don't know, we have about 30 minutes left before it's game time, and they gotta do with the, the national anthem and all that. So they usually have like a big, huge uh, boomer back there where like he's sitting on his butt and he's got his feet facing forward and in the feet there is an entrance to go back into like a bouncy castle kind of thing. But I'm not seeing it blown up today, so that's kind of weird. It's usually blown up every game I've been to, at least. Back here, we've got Kona Ice. And these places right here sell some ballpark food as well. I see sausages written on the front and hamburgers and things. And then back in here, you can also get some food back there. 
So when you walk straight from your seats over at the, the field, this is another big thing that I like about this place, the splash pad. And they have a huge playground. Playground's made full of ropes, so our young daughter, she struggled with it. But now that she's older, I think she'll be okay. But definitely bring like a swimsuit, a towel, or change of clothes, that type of thing if you have kids. Because baseball, you know, they have some long games. So it's good for them to come over here and play and burn out some energy. Oh yeah, Beastie Boys playing. They announced that the ballers are coming out. And then they shot off some sort of cannon that I hadn't heard before. I think that's new for this year because I do not remember it. Oh, it looks like it's time for the national anthem. up getting ready for the game which should be happening soon i think it was scheduled for 1:30. it is now 131. i'm excited y'all it's so good to be back here be outside i love hockey that's that's one of my favorite sports but it's good to take a breather and come outside a little bit and see some baseball that's for sure here we got the first pitch coming up let's see what it is Oh, that was a ball a little too high, a little too high. All right, it looks like we're done with the splash pad. It's pretty cold water, just FYI. We're gonna head back to our seat and enjoy the game. We got somebody out too, so that's nice. All right, I wanted to show what they have for food out here. Um, here's a menu right here. It's cycling through on a little TV. It'd probably be the best way for you to see it. So if you wanna look over it, go ahead and do that. We got three quick outs on the, on the whatchamacallits, what's that? Shorebirds. And uh, now we're on offense. We're batting. Riku Nishida. All right, got a batting average at 259. Let's see what he does out here. Yeah, that's been a couple balls being thrown here. Well, one thing's for sure Riku can walk really well because they just walked him. Now we got Ryan Galini. Galani. Sorry if I'm butchering the name. I'm trying my best here. I'm not good with names like that. All right, let's see what he does on his first bat. I can't show the whole game, but I'm excited to be here, so we'll show a little bit. Throwing high today. That's like maybe the fourth one I've seen go high. And we got a runner in scoring position there on third. Let's see if we can bring him home here. We got two outs. So we got to do it on this guy, Drake Logan. Oh, that went up above us. End of that inning, the first inning there. We didn't send anybody home. We struck out there, we got three outs. Now we're headed into the second inning. Oh, we got Luis Pineda with a home room, home run. Home room, dear Lord. <laughs> I need a break. All right, coming in for the point. Woo, yeah. Now we're doing like a mom carrying competition right now. This is hilarious. He said Tamara, like camera. All right, let's do it. Uh, sure, I guess. Oh. Oh my god. We're gonna do the fastest wave ever. Alright, here we go. Whoa, it's going fast, here we go. Whoa! Go faster! It's still going. I don't know where it went. Oh, we have a bat dog. Yeah! This is pretty interesting. 
Eddie Park here on the Cannonballers. Probably had maybe five foul balls in a row. This is like the inning that never ends. We'll see what happens right here. I'd love for it to be another foul. Oh, boo. Now let's see what he does. Oh, he walked him after all that. He gets a free base. We got us another home run. Man, what a nice day to be out here. Oh, wait, what happened? They're calling him back? I thought it was a home run. Back dog. Bottom of the fourth, we got one on first, one on second. Let's see what happens here. Be nice to get a home run, get some three points. Oh, that was a little high. Yeah, I don't know about that. We left two runners. I was trying to get a good hit there and some exciting video, but we left them on base. We didn't send them home. We're moving into the top of the fifth right now. Go ballers. We got a, uh, another run in, so it's looking like it's 3-0 ballers. We're looking good this year. If I'm not mistaken, I think their record is pretty good. Well, I just looked, and we're about a 500 team. A little under that. Looks like we're about we're going to be a 500 team after this game. But it's so much fun, no matter what. Win, lose, whatever. I love the Cannonballers. And we got another coming in. Are we going to get a second one? Oh, that was great. Yeah, we knocked it way out there. Not a home run, but ballers scored. That's all that matters. To the crowd, buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. know anything about baseball you know it's bottom of the seventh right now and we are up five to zero it's a good time man really good time i was telling my wife i'd like to come back out here for 14 dollars a ticket for seats like this you can't beat it top of the ninth up by five things are looking good they do have a runner on third but we got one out so hopefully we can get three outs and end this thing early that makes two outs. So they got one more out and we're going home. Let's go. Now, since it is Mother's Day, they're gonna let the kids run the base out there with the moms. So that's where my daughter and wife went. I'm gonna get some video of them. So we got a player down here signing autographs on things. So it might benefit you if you come over here and get section 106 to sit on that side of the tunnel. There was the opposing team that came through here, but yeah, the home team is mostly over there because that's where their dugout is. And they are super generous with, with autographs and things. I love baseball because of that. And especially like minor league stuff. Like minor league players are so nice, right? You never know if these guys are gonna blow up and make it big somewhere. You get to see them out here for $14 a ticket. And they're working hard trying to prove themselves. 
You can't complain, right? Oh, that kid's wearing a Savannah Bananas jersey. That's cool. I've always wanted to see them. There goes the kids, man. They are booking it. I think that some of them could actually be part of the uh, Cannonballers. They're so fast. They're pumped up, man. Look at that. All right, that wraps things up for the ball game. How's a 5-0 to zero win for the home team? Let's go Cannonballers. All right, I want to end the video somewhere special. So hang with me, and I'm going to take you across the street over here and end the video. But before we do that, let me take you over here to this gift shop. Hopefully it isn't closed. I think I see some people in here, so that might be a good sign. All right, here we go. Is it going to work? No, it's closed. Dang. I'll give you a sneak peek, though. There you go. So if you remember, they had like a trailer here for the box office to buy tickets and things, and they moved it over here to the side of the store. It's really good looking. Yeah, the front door is locked as well, but here you go. This is what it looks like. They have some really good merch, so if you come over here, definitely stop here and check it out. All right, this something special for the outro that I was telling you about is right in front of this statue of Dale Earnhardt, one of the best, if not the best, NASCAR racer in history. So uh, he is actually from Kannapolis, North Carolina. So they have this thing called a Dell Trail. And I need to go do that Dell Trail this summer. Put that on video and uh, put it on YouTube. I think it'd be pretty fun. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the, our, our first game of 2024 at the Kannapolis Cannonballers. Um, that being said, thanks for watching and thanks for playing. Bye world. All right, if you made it this far, I want you to head down into the comments and put 8-Bit Ballers. Heck yeah.